What's up nieces, nephews, and good people? We're going to take a stroll down Witchcraft Lane just for a little bit because I know a lot of y'all going to get offended if I talk too long. And I'm not one of those people who is real soft-spoken. Unfortunately, I don't really have that in my DNA, so I'm going to leave that to somebody else. So some of y'all think that you have never gotten involved in witchcraft. Maybe you've dibbled and dabbled in playing with a Ouija board. Well, witchcraft is more than just playing with a Ouija board. Witchcraft is black magic, white magic, Wicca, tarot cards, new age, messing around with mediums, familiar spirits, crystals, crystals, I'm going to say that one more time, crystals, it's witchcraft. Y'all people have died in the Bible over messing around with witchcraft. Let's take Saul. Well, here you go right here. Check this scripture out in 1 Chronicles 10, 13 through 14. Saul died because he was unfaithful to God. He didn't follow God's word and he was consulting mediums instead of seeking God. And then what happened? Y'all, God unalived him. Done, dead, over with, gone. Satan uses witchcraft to draw men away with their own lust and curiosity. So let's take a look at this scripture right here. It says in James 1.14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away with his own lust and enticed. And then when you're enticed, that leads to you dibbling and dabbling and stuff you don't have no business. And then when you do that, the lust has been conceived and is brought forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, brings forth death. Saul got unalived. It was over for him. Let's not be like Saul, y'all. Let's get it together and follow Christ. Amen? Amen.